Okay, again with the engine off, you can hear the it's quiet here, nothing's running. Sorry for the low light, but uh, I'm in the garage with a little light here. Anyway, uh, so here's the on the basically passenger side of the vehicle, um, near the end edge of the fender here is where you have the air filter. Uh, there's two uh, clips, one here and one right here, that have to be uh, popped off or popped loose. And then as we move to the back here with the air intake and whatnot, you'll see, if I can find it here, where I want to show you, oh yeah, here it is. Um, right down in here, there's this tab that slides under a little loop. So once you pop the clips off, you're going to slide the, the, uh, the cap here forward to get it to come loose from that. So unfortunately, I don't have anybody to hold the phone here for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and do as I just described, pop the two clips and then slide this whole case forward to get the little tab out from underneath that loop um, and then you'll be able to have access to the air filter. All right, now that I've done that, you can see this top is loose. You just basically look underneath here, you have the air filter, it has a little seal or a little rubber uh, gasket that it is attached to. Um, the whole thing just pops up and out. Here, I'll just show you, lift this up real quick. I can do this one-handedly. All right, so just like that, it just pops up, you pull it out, you slide in your new air filter, and repeat the process to close this. Just make sure that you, slot, um, well, let, let me try to show you. So what you wanna do is back here in the back, you wanna kinda of tilt the whole uh, cap forward, or, or backward rather, um, so that you can get it to sit, sorry, this lighting is terrible, um, so that you can get the, um, that tab to sit underneath that little clip. Now, the other thing is, as you're doing this, you got to make sure that these caps that are, these tabs that are here, the, they, they, uh, one, this one, you got to want to keep it below the level of this hose and you want to keep them also from getting back underneath the cap. It's a little tricky, um, but just paying attention to what you're doing, keeping an eye on these, uh, hoses here. Um, it's all not too hard. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I, because I don't have anybody to hold the phone, I'm, I'm not going to go in great detail of that. But basically, you set it down in there really good, um, get it uh, seated flat against the, the uh, top, and then lock it back in. And then I went ahead and just, you know, got in the car, put the, put the hold mode on, and um, I ran my air, AC, or you could drive the car, whatever. Just test it out. Make sure that you don't get any kind of warning lights or any problems with the with the engine at that point. And and that's pretty much it. Um, you can get these air filters online. Uh, you, they should be like ten bucks, right around there. Um, you could do the KN, although I didn't think there's a lot of sense in that because I don't really um, use the combustible engine very much, and and really would probably get value out of spending the. 40 bucks or so for a K&N filter, and also um, as, as some have posted that you you uh, really don't get as good at filtration. Anyway, so that's it. Hope that was helpful. There's finally now a video on YouTube, so you know how to change your your Gen One uh, Volt air engine air filter. Thanks.